If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and we're going to get into our Spectral Dupe Dragon Reverse deck. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Percival. Can I get an F in the chat for my boy Percival, please? So today we're going to be going into our post ban list Spectral Dupe Dragon Reverse deck and kind of show you guys how we're going to make up for the fact that we lost a completely fair and balanced card in V Premium and how we're going to make up for it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Starting off with our starter, Spring Breeze Messenger, just for the aesthetic. I like Spring Breeze for this deck, but any Gold Paladin starter will do. They all do the same thing. It's just when you ride on it, you can draw a card, and then the errated effect is if your opponent's at grade one, you get a quick shield. All the starters do the same thing. Starting with our grade threes, we're doing three copies of Spectral Dupe Dragon Reverse. Uh, what Spectral Dupe does is during your turn, if you have Duke in the soul, it gets 10k, and if your opponent's at grade three or greater, this gets an extra crit, so it's similar to Duke. Second skill is at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, you counter blast one. You can lock three of your rear guards and then stand this unit for drive minus one. The third skill is if this card is in your hand, at the end of the battle that your vanguard attacked, if you have five or more damage, ultimate break basically, you counter blast two, block three, ride this as stand, and you cannot uh, use any of the auto abilities. You can't restand again from its uh, second ability. <laughs> My one issue is that I can't tell you how many times that I've been at five, five damage, and then I'm planning on using this to ride, and I get a heal trigger and I heal down to four, meaning I can't use the skill anymore. It happens, but uh, it's this is still a decent card when you just ride it, by itself so that way you can still do the lock three uh, restand. What's nice is that they're locked so when they unlock you still have a board. You know it doesn't get that extra power like Duke but it's still a really good card and it lets you get three restands potentially. So now we're going into the OG card for our grade threes, our Spectral Duke Dragons. This card is still really really solid. Uh, what Spectral Duke Dragon does is if you have Vortimer or Black Dragon Knight, Vortimer in the soul, it gets an extra 1,000 power continuously. And if your opponent's at grade three or greater, this gets a crit. So it's like being on a 13K base, like a four stack. Second skill, at the end of the battle of this attack, you kind of bust one, retire three rear guards, restand this unit with drive minus two. If you have four more damage, it gets drive plus one instead of minus one. So that, that's already insane, the fact that it gets a crit and it restands with triple drive. This is like the go-to ride, obviously, because it gets you more hand, makes up for the retired three, and then if you're at five damage, you can just go into a uh, Spectral Duke reverse afterwards. So Duke is the, the main focus of the deck, so that's why we're running it up to four. And then lastly for our grade threes, I am running three copies of Full Cavalier Dragon. So. This is pretty much it for the grade 3 lineup. Uh, we're not without Percival, so this is kind of like what we're working with. What Full Cavalier does is you act, you Soul Blast 1, you call the top card of your deck, and your Vanguard gets 5k. So this is really good because your Vanguard is going to be restanding, and it lets you fill your board for retired targets. So Cavalier is a great, great card for the deck, that's why we're running it at 3. You can also choose to run it at 4 if you want, since we're cutting out Percival, but I just don't want to risk the chance of having to ride this, and then the deck is kind of dead. So we're leaving it at 3, and just so that we can have space for other units in the deck, but this is a great card for the deck. So that's it for our grade 3s. Now we're moving on to grade 2s, starting off with our four copies of Black Dragon Knight Vortimer. So this is the grade two for the Duke Ride Chain. So what this does is Banner Rear, if you have Scout of Darkness for Vortimer in the soul, this gets 1k, so it can be a 10k base. When this is retired from the rear guard circle by a unit's ability, you can put this into the soul to counter charge one. So that's your counter charge engine right here. The third skill is when this is wrote upon by Spectral Duke Dragon, you look at the top five cards of your deck, search for two cards among them, and you put the rest in your deck and you shuffle. So it lets you build a board when you ride Duke on top of this, which is nice. So we want to run four because we want to ride it, we want to ride Duke on top of it, and we want to counter charge. So this is a great card overall for the Duke deck. And then next up for our grade twos, I decided that since we lost Percival and Aglavale was already kind of wonky with the deck since you want to keep your board and not move it to your soul, we're going with the Kaiden uh, Hoel uh, combo here. 
So we're running four copies of Kaiden. So what Advance of the Blockchain's Kaiden does is when it's placed, you kind of lost one, discard a card from your hand, look at the top three, call a card, and then you shuffle your deck. And then if ho -El is on your van or rear, you draw a card. So you make up for the discard if, if you have ho -El. The main reason I like this card is because it's when it's placed, not when it's placed from hand. Meaning if you get it off from Cavalier or with Vortimer's skill, or if you call it from another Kaiden, you can kind of keep chaining. So I like that Kaiden allows you to chain multiple calls and kind of fill your board. And then also the fact that ho -El helps make up for the draw is nice. So it doesn't really feel like you're losing anything. It just feels like you're just paying a kind of blast. Uh, but also being able to look at the top three and pick your targets is also really helpful as opposed to Cavalier, which only just calls the top. Speaking of cards that only call the top, we're running three copies of Liberator of Royalty Fallon. So what Fallon does is during your turn, if your rear guard was placed from your deck, it gets 5k. So kind of will tend to happen. So we can almost guarantee the 5k. Second skill, Banner Rear. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, you may look at the top card of your deck and you may call it to rear guard circle. So you look at the top card of your deck and you may call it, or you can put it back on the top of your deck. It's a trigger, which is nice, um, but this also helps you fill your board. It's just good on hit pressure. So you swing with it. They don't want you to call anything. They're gonna guard it. And the 5K is nice, just like feels free. We don't really have room for Aguavale just because also we want to keep our board. We don't want to lose it and then lose a rear guard when it moves the soul and then Aguavale goes back to your hand. That's two units that you could have either retired or locked for skills. This this is kind of like a, a little easy fix to that. So that's it for our grade twos. Just 11 of them, very simple. Now we're moving on to our grade ones. Starting off with our four copies of Mortimer. Uh, so the Vortimer grade one, what it does is when it's placed on the Vanguard circle, you can look at the top seven cards of your deck and add either a Black Dragon Knight Vortimer or a Spectral Duke Dragon to your hand. So it helps you kind of fix your hand for the your, your ride targets. Second skill is when this is retired by your card's ability, you can move this to soul and it gives your Vanguard 5k. So this is a retired target like the other Vortimer and it can help your Vanguard get even bigger for when it restands. So this is just also a really good staple for the deck. So it's the go-to ride target for sure, um, but it's still obviously a really good retire target. Our next grade one, since we are running Kaiden, we gotta run ho -El. So ho -El, I really like ho -El especially in Spectral Duke, because uh, the most important thing about this card is its effect is continuous, not auto. So what it does is when your other unit in the same column as this unit was placed this turn, this unit gets 5k. If you have Kaiden on the board, van or rear, it gets 10k instead of 5k. That means, this is very important because I know it gets kind of confusing, if you ride Spectral Duke Dragon and then you call this afterwards, the effect still goes off because it's continuous, it's not auto, because it's just whether or not you rode this turn or called it this turn. So this works in any any circle. So you place it, whatever's placed in the same column as it, as long as it was placed this turn, it's gonna get five or 10K. In Re Duke Reverse's case, it's gonna be 20K because it gets 10K if you have Duke in the soul. So there's, there's, a, there's a lot of little things you can do with that. So I like that I can get my Vanguard power and I can also combo this with Kaiden to help build the board. So the two together work really well with this deck. And our last, grade one in the deck is Josephus. So what Josephus does is when this is placed onto, I'm gonna do the second skill first, when this is placed from your deck, you Soul Blast one, counter charge, then Soul Blast one, draw, which means you can do one or the other, or you can do both if you wanna Soul Blast two. So that's what I really like about this card a lot. We're not calling anything from hand. We're not running Sagamore or Wonder Rezzle, so there's no re need to run Dindrain. So we're running Josephus instead. First skill is also really good. When this unit is wrote upon, you may look at the top card of your deck and call it if it's a unit. That's also really helpful. If you don't end up riding your Bordermer, you could ride Josephus instead and it's still a really good field builder. That's pretty much it for a grade one lineup. Very simple, just 12 cards. Now we're moving on to triggers. Heal Guardians. Heal Guardians are always good. So I would expect at this point, most people know what Heal Guardians do, but let's go into it anyways. When this is placed on guard from hand, if you have not ridden the grade three this turn, you can do one of the following. Give one of your units, or give your Vanguard 10K for the turn, or you can choose when your opponent's attacking units and it gets minus two crit until the end of the battle. So it's end of battle, not turn, very important. 
Second skill, when this is placed on rear from hand, if you do not have damage, you just put the top card of your deck into your damage zone. So you can you have a counter blast to work with. So this is just you know to help you not get pushed and abused by your opponent when they get to their grade three turn, and then that way you can uh, still play the game. Next up for triggers with skills are running two draw pgs so halo shield mark is you know our sentinel when it's placed on guard circle discard choose one of your units cannot be hit until end of battle the reason i'm doing the two mark is because we are doing the two scarface line so this is our four sentinels sentinel crit just has thirty thousand shield and the reason that i'm doing this is because i'm going super aggro with this deck it's all just like straight crit to the face that being said we're running 10 crits total. So we're making this deck as aggro as it gets. Uh, if you want to drop these for more draws, that's fine as well. The way I see it is that you have Spectral Duke, which can do anywhere between three to five drive checks. And then on top of that, you have Spectral Dupe, which restands and can swing for more drive checks. So there is, and then you're also filtering through your deck, calling stuff, making a board. There's a chance that you start running well on cards. So I feel instead of the draw triggers, I like having the Sentinel crits, uh, just because our Vanguard is restanding. Give that Vanguard an extra crit, make it push for more damage, you have a way more threatening turn than just pulling off some draw triggers. So nothing wrong with draws, I love draw PGs, but with this deck specifically, we're just going full aggro with it. So that was pretty much it for the deck profile. Uh, just mention real quick, for markers, it is an Excel deck. So I feel like there really is no other option than just doing Excel 2. But just because also Excel 2 helps you gain more resources and draw more cards. So I feel like this is still an Excel 2 deck. And despite losing Percival, I feel like this deck is still a lot of fun. And I'm hoping to show some games with it in the near future if I can. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.